This is Gregor Mendel. He's the monk who originally discovered genetics. Watch him as he walks over to his pea plants. These are some of his favorite plants, and the plants that he originally did his genetics work on. Yes, Gregor loves those pea plants. But what makes them different sizes? He'll tell you. Watch him as he shows the different parts of a plant. Watch him as he points out that pollen goes from the pistil to the stamen, which fertilizes the other, and then you have baby pea plants. Watch as he shows you. Watch as he walks away. That's a dominant that's a dominant gene. And that's a recessive gene. Now if you filled that T table in, they'd be mostly dominance, but one recessive. Same thing with that tea table. Tea tables are how you figure genetics. That's dominant, recessive. Dominant and recessive. So for instance, if a tall pea plant fertilizes a small pea plant you're going to end up with three big pea plants and one small pea plant thanks Gregor for showing us the magic of genetics